Oh my god. So new stock crashing once again down 10% in the Hong Kong stock market, down 3% pre-market as of recording this video. Investors are losing confidence. However, when I talk to new employees, they are not losing confidence. I'll tell you what they said to me, which I think is very important. So let's first talk about deliveries. 2,500 deliveries remaining at the number five spot in terms of Chinese uh, new energy vehicle automakers. Not fantastic, all right? Not fantastic, but keep in mind that the guys on top of them, on top of Neo, all sell hybrids, and then Neo is still selling almost a thousand vehicles a week more than Xpeng. So, you know, this is something that's, I think it's actually quite incredible. And something to keep in mind, Zeker, yes, Zeker has been steamrolling a lot of cars. They've, they've been selling tremendously well, very competitive cars. But again, their cars are cheaper than Neo's vehicles. So in terms of luxury EVs, Neo is still number one. Those guys on, on top, they all sell hybrids, all right? So keep that in mind. And what's happening with explosive deliveries? It's supposed to be explosive, but it seems like it's just not happening. It's just not happening. It seems like people really, really want inventory cars with the big discounts. Now, it's very apparent that what's happening right now is that investors are losing confidence. More selling exasperates more selling. People getting margin called, forced to sell, leads to lower stock prices, causing more people to be forced to sell as well. And it seems that at this price point, a lot of the institutional investors are more keen on taking the loss and just getting away from this rather than investing in. And it seems like everyone's very, very pessimistic towards Neo at this point. However, when I talk to some of the Neo employees, they see this as a tremendous, tremendous opportunity. All right, you have to think of a different way of, of thinking towards this thing. Do you think the stock price here is reasonable? All right. And also, I was reminded that they have a lot of great things coming just around the corner in terms of the sub brand launching and that's going to really help with deliveries and really deliver a lot of cars. Now the pessimism could also be fueled by the fact that Tesla is doing job cuts as well. They're cutting about 10% of the workforce and that just also signals to the market that things might not be going too well. And there's also rumors that Neo is going to do job cuts as well also signaling to the market that things might not be too well. But again, again, you have to really think of how you look at this. Because from the employee's perspective, from management's perspective, from my perspective, this stock is just completely unjustified, all right? And also, it just right now, it's very undervalued. It doesn't make sense to, for the stock price to be where it is right now, which presents a lucrative opportunity for all of us and this is why the new employees that i talked to you know they're not selling they don't want to sell and in fact when they have extra cash extra money they're buying more new stock because they fully well realize that right now this downturn is just a temporary dip because investors are very short-sighted they're not looking far enough and seeing where things are headed and where things are about to happen. They're about to launch the sub brand. They're about to launch a sub sub brand next year. Deliveries are going to be flying through the roof. But investors are too short sighted. They're not seeing this. They're thinking, oh my God, the stock price is down right now. Sell, 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 sell. There's more fear than logical thinking. Also, of course, it doesn't help us with the fact that the stock price is so low. Uh, institutional investors might not want to invest in and they're not really seeing the results uh, that we want to see. But of course, once the sub-brand launches and once the sub-brand gets those deliveries into customers' hands and investors and everybody sees that the deliveries are flying, are going through the roof, you know, that's going to inject more optimism. But by then, the stock price will have already moved up. So you have to think about it, uh, think ahead of everybody else. So you know that this is going to happen. 
right? So you can anticipate that uh, we are going to have a very good bullish run with the sub brand coming out. So why not capitalize on the opportunity right now? And I know it's very frustrating. It's very frustrating for me as well. I know that some of you guys, some of you guys uh, in my Discord as well, are forced to sell because of margin calls as well. I can tell you that even in a lot of the new chat groups, the new owner chat groups, people are in shock at the stock price because today in the Hong Kong market, new stock dropped 10% and it's at 29 Hong Kong dollars, which is just absolutely insane. And people are asking, all wondering, like, what the hell is going on? It should not be this low. The, the reasoning is, is very simple. There's more sellers than buyers. The stock price goes down regardless of how we value the company, regardless of how much we see the company is worth. If there's more sellers than buyers, the price is going to go down. Looking at the market in general, everything is down. The stock market is down. Tesla is down. Tesla is down more percentage-wise yesterday than NIO is. Tesla was down 5.5%. NIO is down 5.3%. But of course, it's not an apples-to-apples -apples comparison. And Tesla, uh, Tesla did not make a three-year low, whereas NIO made a three-year low. So it's just... It's very frustrating. Yes, it's very frustrating. And there's a lot of selling pressure. And it seems to be more selling pressure on the side of NEO. And it just, it's very devoid of logic. It's very devoid of logic. But knowing that the stock price is going down, and it might potentially go down more because of more margin calls, exacerbating uh, more selling pressure. I just want to remind you guys that the lower it goes, the better the opportunity for you guys. All right. I'm all in. I'm getting some more money to buy more and we'll see. We'll have to see. And it's quite unprecedented. And I know some of you guys have complained in one month's time down 50%. Absolutely nuts. I agree with that. And I really hope that very soon that we can see a bottom and that this selling uh, once it's over, you know, that's going to be a very juicy buying opportunity. Maybe this isn't it in terms of the selling. I think maybe at this price point, more margin calls might happen, might have more selling to the downside. It's very frustrating, but I am accumulating. If you guys want to jump ship, you know, that's up to you. It's your money, your decision. Again, I said how yesterday I said, please don't buy on margin because that's just very, very risky thing to do. And these, these banks, these institutions, they'll sell you out in two seconds. If, if it crosses the line, you'll be, you'll be sold out, you'll be left with nothing. And you might even be negative if there's a big gap down. So once again, you know, investing is very risky. As long as you believe in the future, that's all that matters. If you believe that Neo is going to sell well in the future, that's all that matters. And even right now, Neo has 45% market share of the luxury EV market. And I think that's fantastic. Do what you want. But again, I believe the lower it goes, the bigger the opportunity, the more that I'm loading up. All right, I'm going to buy more. I am going to buy a heck of a ton more. I'm also getting some sleepless nights, guys. I mean, you're like, <sighs> it makes you tremble, right? The stock price. But of course, uh, this isn't something that I didn't experience when I, uh, back when it was in 20, 2018, 2019, seeing the stock price go from six all the way down to 1.7 it keeps you up at night so hang in there guys hang in there make sure you're not starving yourself because of uh, the downturn in stock price and just understand that new is still doing fantastically well in terms of the luxury ev market and soon they're going to be doing fantastically well in the mass market market okay so just hang in there guys as always stay safe stay healthy peace out